right, uh, 11.1 now, uh, sequences and series. And we're going to take an intro look into that with some examples here. And basically, to start these off with the uh, examples, what it's basically saying is find the first four terms. Find the first four terms, that means you plug a 1 in. So if I plug a 1 in, there is me plugging in a 1. 2 minus 4 is what you get there, times 1. So 1 and times negative 2. So the first term you get is negative 2. Um, then I need to plug in a 2 for the second term, which is 2 times 2 times 2 minus 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 times 2, the second term, is 0. So the third term, plug in a 3 now. 3 times 2 times 3 minus 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6, right? Uh, that's 2, just double checking, times 3 is 6. And the fourth term, I plug in a 4. So that's 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So there are my first four terms for that one. Same deal with this one. I plug a 1 in first. So there's a 1. Then I plug a 2 in next. Then I plug a 3 in next. Then I plug a 4 in next. So the first term I get 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 times 1 is 7. So I get a 7. The second term, when I plug in a 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20. The third term, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13, 13 times 3 is 39. And the fourth term, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. And there are those four terms. And it works the same here. I don't need to redo these again and again and again. All you're doing is plugging in a 1, plugging in a 2, a 3, and a 4 to find all the terms. What's the formula in the pattern with the summation notation? So the formula in pattern with the summation notation. Well, basically, the top is all the same, right? It's a 1 on top. But the bottom, what do you notice? It's going up by 2 every single time. So the point is, whenever you're doing this, whenever you're doing a problem like this, it starts with you plugging a 1 in. What it's saying is, plug a 1 in. So the reason that I'm thinking about this is, well, how can I figure out what the bottom is? Well, what times 1 will give me 2? Because remember, I said, I told you, you're always plugging in a 1 first. Well, it's a 2, right? 2 times 1 will give me 2 on the bottom. So the point I'm getting at is that's why it's 1 over 2n. And the reason why it's 1 over 2n is because, like I said, you know, I, I have to plug a 1 in here to get the answer. What can I plug in to give me um, 2 times what will give me 2? Two? 2. 3 times what will give me 6? 2. The point is, it's always a 2. So when you're writing things in terms of summation notation, summation notation is this gigantic symbol here. You always start at 1, and I told you it's going from 1 to 2 to the n. 1 over 2 to the n. 2 times what gives you 40? 20, which means the highest number this is going to is 20. And there's your answer for that one. In this one, uh, it starts at 6, right? And it's going up by how much every time? Well, it's going up by 6 every time. Okay, so the point that we're getting at is it's going up by 6 every time, and it starts at 6, right? So um, I told you that we always start by making M1, as in we plug in a 1 to get the answer. To plug in the second term, we plug in a 2. To plug in the third term, we plug in a 3. Are you noticing the pattern yet? Well, I am. 6N, right? Plug in a 1, I get 6. Plug in a 2, you get 12. Plug in a 3, you get 18. So the point is, was to write this in summation notation, 
you know it starts at 1 and this is 6m 6 times what gives you 96 right 6 times what gives you 96 that happens to be 16 which means this goes until we get to 16 at the top and there's your summation notation for that one um, this is all the same right what's happening here it's going up by 3 every single time okay so um, we're trying to think of what works to give me that so when I plug in a 1 right when I plug in a 1 how can I get 2 is what we're saying well I could do 2 times 1 right but that doesn't give uh, the next one if I did 2n that wouldn't give me a 5 so that won't work that's the point that I'm getting at um, in this problem though I believe we would uh, the pattern is 3n minus 1 now I know right now you guys are having a hard time understanding why that's the pattern but I'll show you in the next section why we're getting some such things as that but notice it does work right plug in a 1, 3 times 1 is 3 minus 1 is 2. If I plug in a 2, 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 is 5. So that does work. But the main reason here is to understand how to write in summation notation. And you know we're always starting at 1, and I told you this is 3m minus 1, but whenever you see dot dot dot, that means you are writing things to infinity. Um, what is the formula and pattern for this one? Okay, um, to kind of go over what the pattern here is now, this is the formula for arithmetic ones. Okay, um, a1 plus m minus 1 times d. This stands for the first term, which is negative 8. This stands for what it's going up by every time. Well, it's going up by a positive 6 every time. So when I plug this in, the first term is negative 8 plus n minus 1 and it's a 6 for d because it's a 6 uh, it's going up by every time so I distribute that through and I get negative 8 plus 6n minus 6 and when I combine all my like terms we get 6n minus 14 so the formula is 6n minus 14 to find out what the, the 10th term is I plug a 10 in there 6 times 10 minus 14. Well, that's like saying 60 minus 14, and 60 minus 14 is 46. So 46 is your 10th term. Okay, uh, according to this, I am going down by 4 every time, right? I'm going down by 4 every time, and what do we start with? 27. So according to our formula, to figure out what it is, it's the first term plus m minus 1 d. Well, the first term is 27 plus n minus 1 d. It's going down negative 4, so that is a negative 4. So I distribute that through to get 27 minus 4 n plus 4. And when I combine my like terms, you end up getting negative 4 n uh, plus 31 so negative 4m plus 31 so to find out the tenth term I plug in a 10 plus 31 so negative 40 plus 31 is negative 9 so your answer for the tenth term there is negative 9 and fractional ones um, this might be a little more challenging for you to see but this is like saying 3 over 1 right and times 3, I can multiply each by 3. So really, this is like saying that this term is 9 over 3, which means the base is 3 every single time, but what's happening? The top is going up by 4 every time. So then let's find the formula for just the top. The formula for just the top, m minus 1 times d, starts at 1, right? and that's n minus 1, it's going up by 4 every time, so I distribute that through. So really it's 1 plus 4n minus 4, and when I combine that I end up getting 4n minus 3. But that's just the top, so the formula is actually 4n minus 3 over 3, because it's 3 every time on the bottom. So to find the 10th term, I plug a 10 in there. 4 times 10 is 40, 
40 minus 3 is 37. So the tenth term is 37 thirds is your tenth term. So if you have any other questions or concerns with 11.1, .1, finding some patterns and all that wonderful stuff in sequences and series, just please let me know.